just like Dan's uh, um, comment about, I'll put it up again, about Delve, if you didn't see that one. <laughs> uh, well, there's the other one is the common question. How do we turn it off? Yeah. <laughs> exactly. so then is this question. How many times do we hear that? Yeah. That's, <laughs> how how, how other... fast is it going to go from how do I get Copilot to how do I shut it down? Like, we, yeah. we need a betting pool for how fast it's going to go from one to well, the other. Well, it's already coming up. I mean, the, the whole question, this is a different topic. You know, we don't have a question around it, but it's around governance, around right. Copilot. So you have a lot of people that are out there, uh, a lot of companies that are coming up with, like, guidance. And here's the dirty little secret, everybody. It's the exact same stuff you should have been doing to clean up your data 20 years ago. It's mm -hmm. all still okay. relevant. It's the, yeah. yes, there are some new assets and new products. There's sensitivity labels. There's kind of all the new features that are out there, but it's, it's about metadata management permissions and inf information architecture can we, can we as danielle said you know securing labeling data and even having different data repositories where it can't even pull from and you go that's a whole different that sits in another like maybe even another tenant we go that all is there highly confidential doesn't get pulled in no matter what and separate your data if you need to can we can we uh, clarify um something that it, it, it bothers me a little bit because this came up in internal conversations uh with the company copilot is just one piece of ai right um microsoft owns open ai if nobody knew that guess what you know that now um which i would be surprised if you didn't know that but it's only one model it it, 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 it was a couple models but it's it's only a piece of it there's a hundred different AI providers out there um, building their own models. Um, you know, UC Berkeley has their own. Stanford has their own. Um, you know, Google has their own. Uh, you know, all, so th it's not just we focus on Copilot, but users could be using any one of these. And it's a matter of where that data is coming from, because some models are restricted, some are not. Um, and what I mean by that is Copilot can be as tame as you want it to be, right? But if they introduce something into the organization that is not as tame as Copilot, then they are running risks, right? They, now they could be getting bad data. Now they could be putting out bad data. They could be putting out data, you know, they could be at risk. So this is something that has to be really well thought out and people aren't doing that i mean I, companies are just putting in a you know allowing people to use chat gpt and use you know uh, mid journey um whatever um just because hey it's really cool and we want to do that well it, they don't vet and verify so everybody just like yeah. i go out on the internet and i search for something and i'm like oh it's the truth because it's on the internet it's got to be true <laughs> that right? old thing that and that <laughs> And now you're bringing that into your business world too. And people don't do their due diligence to make sure what they're bringing up, you know, the content that they're bringing in is actually valid and current um, and just be using it as a crutch. That's my biggest fear with, you know, th that kind of that laziness that people have come up. Well, they don't have their own governance around it either. They're just yeah. kind of letting it come in and, you yeah. know, there's, there's no, there's no, there's no guardrails. There's no rules. Yeah. Yeah, and, and and Mike Sherry, I want to add to that. So I'm I'm as 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 you know, I'm Microsoft, right? So Microsoft hat on. Um, I'm in in the middle of a, a a project right now, which is very heavily AI focused. As you can imagine, a lot of our a lot of our new features and new capabilities, we're we're trying to drive AI as being the primary kind of um, enabler, if you like, for a lot of those a lot of those capabilities. I I can't begin to tell you um the level of uh governance that we go through right even for one simple feature um we, we already announced this at ignite last year so i'm not gonna i'm not i'm not over speaking right simple things like metadata extraction from existing documents and, and contracts we already announced that um but the level of governance that we put around that and the the guardrails around responsible ai it's such a huge piece of work that every product team has to go through if you want to implement any kind of ai into a microsoft product um it, it's 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 to the point where the 
the PMs and the engineers are so frustrated, right? We just want to get the job done. But we're really, really, really focusing on responsibility, right? It's all about responsible AI and doing things the right way. That That's something that's really been, uh, you know, uh, uh, it's been great to see. Uh, there, there was a... a there was an online conversation a couple months back about how, in fact, there's a blog post by an MVP uh, to find it's a fantastic blog post where he, he basically says, you know, Microsoft has a history. It's a cycle of pumping something out there. That's not quite ready. Hasn't been thought through from a governance and administrative standpoint. And that it, it um, presents opportunity, opportunity to, the partner community um, around that um, that's refined. So they're, it's innovating, it's getting faster and faster. Mm -hmm. But with that over time, it's like, especially around um, Copilot, Microsoft was very upfront at helping lead the discussion around the ethics of AI and the need for governance. And the adoption site is much, much quicker to have that or have some of this content have to be leading the discussion uh, right up front, right on day one of the announcements around these pieces. So like, I feel like, like Microsoft has learned that lesson. Um, we talk about when SharePoint was released, we, we often talk about the fact that it's like the SharePoint community is as robust as it is, as connected is because there was no documentation. There was no help. It was something where uh, I used to joke, like, no, not everybody knows everything about SharePoint. It's like, yeah, but there's a list of people I know that this happens when Microsoft product team members uh, and the SharePoint team had questions about their product. They would call these external people and we know their names. We know who they are. So most of them MVPs. Uh, it, it really is. Um, it's great to see that Microsoft is being more thoughtful around lessons learned uh, around the solutions. It doesn't mean that all the functionality, all the features are there to manage all of those things up front but they're aware of those gaps. Uh, or this is my perception, at least. I don't know if it, somebody has a different... Oh, no, it's the same thing. I, I, I agree with you because... And and I'm uh, again, perception is, you know, what I'm going off of here is Microsoft is not the only company that does this. They release beta and they call it production. So mm -hmm. I'll give you an example. Copilot for Windows 11. <laughs> New Outlook. When, when Copilot for <laughs> Windows 11 came out, it was beta. OK, I, it was it would fail half the time whenever you would ask it something it wouldn't know an answer to. But they're using the consumer as their testers. Uh, that's why you have Windows 11 Insiders Edition. That's why you have the Windows Server Insiders. That's why you have Azure Insiders, the people that want to be, you know, they that Microsoft is allowing to our Office Insiders allowing to test this stuff for them um, and uh, be able to provide the feedback, but also fix what is broken. So it's the same thing with AI. They released it, but in my opinion, they released it early, too early. Um, but I think that's with any AI because now you have every, every corner, mom and pop corner store is going to start having their own AI. Um, and it won't necessarily be uh, you know, factual or it won't ex it always be, you know, legitimate. So that's my take on it. <laughs>